Hey Capricorns and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings and this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button. Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. Capricorns, let's see what's going on with you this week. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. What do Capricorns need to hear and know for this week? Alrighty, let's draw. We have financial and material changes. Ooh, you focused on your money. Someone is focused on money. Also, heart chakra. I'm getting messages right away. There could be someone feeling like they're going through some type of career change or something is changing with your finances. Maybe you're trying to make moves. Someone you're dealing with is trying to make moves. This is connected to their heart chakra. Um, someone may feel insecure without money. Let's get one more. Intuition. Yeah, someone is going within, trying to use their intuition on what to do, how to make something work. Someone's finances are heavily on their mind. Someone's career is heavily on their mind. So for example, if you're dealing with a male, this is a, a person who they do not feel comfortable unless their finances are together. They do not feel comfortable dating unless they have it all together financially or they, they know what they're going to do for their career. This is someone who wants to offer stability I'm feeling right away. Yeah, mental conflict at the bottom of the deck. This is on someone's mind. This is bothering someone. Yeah, spiritual union. This person feels connected with you. You feel a connection with someone. Okay, this week. But it's like this, oh, I'm being drawn to the twos. So the two of you could both have this on your mind, thinking about each other a lot this week, but not speaking. Solitude. Hermit card. This is the hermit in this deck. Neither one of you are speaking, but you really want this. You both feel the passion and desire for each other where prosperity begins. Something could come out of the blue and you two could have material harvest and wealth together. The two of you could be very successful together and move forward positively together. Wow. Big message is coming out right at the beginning. Let's clarify. I say clarify and Ace of Swords is here when I split the deck. Yeah, someone's going to get clarity on what to do in this situation. Right now, they could be resting, trying to heal. Someone could be trying to heal or uh, like sitting at home thinking about what to do. You could be dealing with an emperor energy. Okay, let's go ahead and put, put the cards out. Why is financial and material changes here? We have a Knight of Swords. Someone is very busy, I feel, immediately with this card. I get lots of energies from the Knight of Swords. But today, right now in this reading, I'm getting someone is very busy with their finances. They're trying to make moves. They, they're probably spread very thin right now. Someone is very busy. They have a hectic schedule, hectic life. They're always traveling, meeting with people. Someone is very busy. Why is the heart chakra here? Five of Cups, someone misses you. They don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose this connection. They are very busy. So it may seem like this person this week has everything for everyone else except for you. That Like they got time for everybody else except for you. Okay? And this could be affecting them. Because deep in their heart, they, they want to be with you. Also, I'm feeling the energy as a side story. Someone could be um, a person that has given too much to other people in their past. They were they rushed into relationships. They gave their money to different people. They gave uh, deposits to people. They could have put down payments, you know, for people. I'm feeling that energy too. And they lost a bunch of money. Someone lost a lot of money and this affected them in their heart chakra. They felt like people were using them, okay? This could be you or your person, but I'm feeling that energy coming through, so pick it up if it belongs to you. So I feel like someone was giving money or too much time to other people, rushing into situations that were not stable. 
and putting money. I feel like someone put money into something or invested money into somebody, uh, like the energy of your person giving money in the past to people who needed to open a business. Okay. Let me give you that loan. Let me give you 5,000. Let me give you 6,000, something like that. Just for an example, why is intuition here? Four of cups. Wow. I think Libra, Libra had this energy. Somebody just had this energy. <laughs> yes. But four of cups, see someone is trying to use their intuition. They're trying to take their time because they don't want to be rejected. Someone is deathly afraid of rejection. They've been hurt in the past and this is what they want you to know. Okay. And this could be you as well. What, what is this person's intentions with Capricorn? Four of Swords. They're thinking about it. They're not making a move yet this week. They're thinking about it. What are they thinking about? Okay, I pulled two. That it's going to take time. Temperance. They're trying to balance out their emotions. They're trying to figure out their feelings for you. This is what I feel. They're trying to balance out their emotions with temperance. It's like, oh my God, I've never felt a love like this. This person could have gone through something in the childhood with the Six of Cups coming out where they didn't get love or affection or something like that. And th they need to heal. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people who are going through this energy. So if you see this in different readings, just know a lot of people, especially with the Aries new moon, we're, we're still in this, this energy of people who are dealing with explosive emotions, anger, anger issues, stuff like that. And this could been, could have been from their childhood where this person never got the correct attention that they deserved, something like that. And they've always been rejected emotionally. Yeah. So how are you feeling toward this person? King of Swords. Woo. Okay. You're the ice king toward this person. Why? You want them to come in and offer. You're waiting for them. You're like, uh-uh. No. If you want me, come and get me. If you want me, I'm sitting here on my throne. Come in and get me, Knight of Cups. You want this person to step up. Yeah. Six of Swords, you're willing to wait for them to make a move. It's like, come in. You have to come in. Yeah, Eight of Cups, you have to come in. Again, movement cards. And tell me what you want. Or else I will remain in hermit mode. There's the hermit. I told you, I saw that in the other deck. That hermit energy. Okay, let's move over to this deck. What's the T? What's going on in this situation? What does this person want to say? What's going on in this situation? Soulmates. Yeah, they feel that soulmate connection. They absolutely do. Let's get a few more. Date. They want to meet up. They want to date you. What else do they want to say to Capricorn? The Grim Reaper. See, they, they're going through endings. See, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. This person has gone through a lot of stuff in their past. They've lost a lot of relationships. And they could still be focused on what they lost. They probably lost relationships and money. Okay? So they're trying to grow and transform their lives. They need to heal, is what I was saying. Okay. What do they want to tell you? Let's go to this deck. What does this person want to tell Capricorn? Okay, <laughs> we have, I want to make love. Yeah, they're thinking about it. Mm -hmm. What else do they want to tell Capricorn? Look at that, I overspit. <laughs> you guys, see? I'm telling you, someone was giving money if they weren't giving it to you in the past with their other relationships. Someone was overspending. They were a big spender. They had money to blow and they were giving it all to past connections, past relationships. And this put them in a place where, damn, I'm giving all of this stuff to other people and I'm not getting anything in return. So this person started to feel depressed. It's like they fell into depression. Okay. And they could be going through this right now as we speak. They're still in this mode of five of cups, depression. Okay. So someone needs to heal. So this can move forward with the two of you. Okay. And they will come in with the offer. What you're waiting on 
Yeah. Let me get a card on that. What's that Knight of Cups there? Ace of Wands. Yeah. They will come in with that offer. And it will come in fast. With uh, Ace of Wands is fire sign energy. So it's going to come in fast when it does happen. It may be moving slow this week. But something is getting ready to change for you. Alrighty, Capricorns, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.